Hey guys, it's Daisy and today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Ghost gameplay because I don't have any more advanced warfare gameplay saved on my laptop. I actually posted the last one in the last commentary and right now I'm just still waiting for my Elgato to get here in the mail. It's supposed to get here on Saturday, but um, you know since it's around Christmas time and the holidays it's going to take a while. I ordered contacts like around a month ago and they're supposed to get here like in January because of the delay of the holiday season which is crazy I've been waiting then I have to wait like two months to get my contacts it's ridiculous I don't know why anyone would buy contacts like for anyone else for their Christmas present I, I, I have no idea why it's gonna take so long because the holidays to get contacts but as for the Elgato when I get it I'm gonna be so excited because I'm gonna be able to stream again on Twitch and I'm gonna be able to record gameplays and I know that there's a, a share feature on the PS4, but honestly, it's, it takes too long, and I honestly just am too lazy to do that. So I'm just gonna wait for my Elgato to get here. And um, anyway, today I wanted to talk about KD ratio, and is it really that important when it comes to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Um, the reason why I want to talk to you guys about this is because if you guys don't know already, stats, you can't really see them in Advanced Warfare. And I think that there's a good thing about this and there's a bad thing about this. So I'm going to talk about both, why I think that it's good and bad. So let's start with the bad. The bad thing I think about not seeing other people's stats in Advanced Warfare is that if you're like a clan leader, obviously it's going to be harder to be able to recruit people. It's easier when you were able to see their KD ratio, you automatically know if you want them in your clan or not. And now it's like going to be hard to tell whether you want someone in your clan or not unless you invite them to like a private party and play with them. So I think that's the bad thing. A good thing that you're not able to see other people's stats is I think more people go for the objective now because they don't have to worry about their stats anymore. Um, a lot of people used to camp because they worried so much about their stats as well. Obviously, there's not going to be as much campers now because you can't see other people's KD ratio, which I think is good. So I think they made this on purpose, like they did this on purpose so people can just have fun playing Advanced Warfare, which I think is a good thing because a lot of people didn't go for the objectives. They worried so much about their KD and their stats and their win-loss ratio and people would fight over it on lobbies. They would be like, my KD is better than yours. And they would, the other person would be like, no, my win loss is better than yours, so you can't say shit. Blah blah blah. You know the fights always go on in lobbies about KD. My KD is better than yours. My win loss is better than yours. I'm higher in leaderboards. Blah blah blah. Like people will always fight over that. So I think now is it's really better, so people can just like have fun and have less stress about who's better, whose stats are better, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if Advanced Warfare is eventually going to change that so you can be able to see other people's stats. But like I said, that's the good thing I see about this whole thing. And now, um, does KD really matter? So I think that <laughs> it does matter, and at the same time, it doesn't. The reason why is because, like, if you were to play TDM, for example, obviously that game mode is mainly about you know, getting more kills. If you are getting more kills than deaths in TDM, you're doing good for the team. But if you get more deaths than kills in TDM, you're obviously doing bad for the team. So I think KD does matter when you're playing games like TDM. As for games like Domination, obviously the objective is to get more flags and to keep it that way and defend your flag and all that stuff. I think it is good. For example, in Ghost, it was good getting a high KD because you would be able to get good kill streaks, and with the kill streaks, you were able to defend your flag and just like get a bunch of kills at the same time. While in Advanced Warfare, the kill streaks in this game are not the very best, which I think is because they want you to actually focus on winning the game than just getting kills because a lot of people focus on getting kills I for one in Domination and Call of Duty Ghosts I would just play it for kills and because I, I enjoy going on high kill streaks but as for Advanced Warfare I feel like this game is more of a of a whether you win or lose game like this game is mainly based on winning or losing rather than kill streaks and KD so I think yeah they did a good job because People are going to focus more on having fun and playing the game rather than freaking focusing so much on stats and camping for them. I still see campers every now and then on Advanced Warfare, which kind of like, it confuses me. I'm like, I don't get why people camp if their stats are not going to show. I don't know why they care so much. 
So I honestly stopped caring about like my KD on Advanced Warfare. Um, so I think that's a good thing that people are going to focus more on the game and stuff. Um, but KD overall, I think it doesn't really matter. Why? Because I've seen people with 1 KDs do just as good as people with 3s, get just the same amount of kills as people with 3s. The only difference is that people with like 1 KD ratios um, are less cautious about dying. Like they put themselves more out there. They risk their their lives, I guess. <laughs> that sounds like they're actually risking their lives. No, like in the game they're risking their characters' lives to win the game or win the objective. While well, people with 3 KDs, they might also focus on winning the objective sometimes, but I feel like they're more cautious about their deaths. Like, they're more cautious about their surroundings. They actually, like, focus more on um, the enemies if they're around them. That way they don't die as much as people with, like, lower KDs. That's the difference between them. But they can do both just well when it comes to getting kills. Um, I feel like people with like 3 KDs obviously are probably the people who mainly go for like higher kill streaks and go for chem strikes and DNA bombs and stuff like that. So I think it all matters on just how much kills you get rather than how much deaths each person has, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Like a person with a 1 can be just as good as a person with a 3. I don't think KD really matters. Um, unless it's like in a game mode where it actually does count like TDM. So I just want to see what you guys think about KD. Do you like the fact that Events Warfare doesn't show stats or do you not really enjoy it? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Tell me what do you think? Does KD really matter in general? Does it determine a person's skill or not? Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay and this commentary and I will talk to you guys later. So bye guys.